Good kitten internet, and welcome back to Vandal Hearts. Let's go ahead and get back to where we were. Oh, right, I need to make a copy of the save. One moment. And back once more. Like I said, let's go ahead and get back to where we were. So, it's actually been another week plus since I last played. Um... There's a good reason for that. Need to drop volume on my side. Um, I've been really busy lately. Um, applied for, what, a couple of days ago. So today, for reference, is the 1st of September. Uh, a couple of days ago, I applied for 38 jobs in one day. So I've been really, really busy. Uh, in addition, I've started another project. Um, I've mentioned that I was going to start this, but I actually started it this time. I am finally starting the coding of Shining Force 2 Randomized. So I'll probably dedicate an entire video to that when I have more progress, but long story short, I have all of, I can now load all of the data from um from the actual ROM to PowerShell. And that's a very large step that I needed to do. At this point, what I need to do is calculate how I want to randomize things, and then write it back to the ROM. Anyway, General Magnus! Dots. Daddy! Eel and I, wait! Hi. Nye, is that you? Is Daddy? Ugh! No! Get away from me! Daddy, what is it? Hurry! I'm holding back the power of the magic stone. That is the first sign that Ash hasn't exactly been told of everything as what's going on. By the way, I thought I'd mention, we're still in the prologue of this game. We don't have a credit scene like we do in Wild Arms 1 or Wild Arms 2. But this is definitely a game where the prologue lasts significantly longer than you would expect. One would expect the end of chapter one would be the end of the prologue. I would actually surmise that the end of the prologue in a classical story sense is actually the end of this chapter. So, sit back. We've got some plot. Daddy, what's happening to you? Daddy. Daddy! He can't hear you. What the hell accent was that? I've already forgotten what I was using for Dolan. You can't hear you. Get out of there. Purple mode. Ah! Ah. Teleport. By the way, this is the boss music. I quite like the boss music for this game. Those who disturb my peace of mind must be me. Oh no, he's summoning letters off of him, and the game slows to a crawl. Bloop, 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 bloop. We have no choice but to fight him! So, as a reminder, I am almost certain this is a series of battles in a row. This is the first of three. That's another reason why I was waiting until now to record, is because I didn't have a large enough time block to record. So, first off, let's go ahead and make an in-battle save, even though I can start from the start of a battle. And take a look to see what we are dealing with. Um... First off, we are definitely going to want distant zoom for this battle because this battle is huge. So we actually have three different styles of units, not counting Magnus. Looks like there are four different styles. My apologies. Um, we've got the style of units that we're used to. We've got mad soldiers up front. We also have some lone ghosts, which are totally not by themselves, like their names would indicate. Uh, we also have some supporting imp snipers, which have height. That's going to suck. So most likely we're going to have to have some units dash up here in order to go after snipers. 
We also have some dark golems in the back. All of these characters, oh, they are actually different levels. They're 11 and 12, it looks like. So the snipers are 11, everybody else is 12, until we get to Magnus the Dark Lord at level 15 with 128 hit points. This is our first real boss battle. You will also notice Magnus is armor class. Which means our flyers are not going to be strong against him, but Eel and I will be. He's got a great sword, a death mask, and lord armor. He also has multiple spells. He's got self-healing, which is the same thing as Ash's um, healing ability, although I have yet to actually see a boss use it. And Rainbow Storm, which we will almost certainly be seeing. He also has 18 MP, so he's not going to be able to cast too many times. That's probably not that dissimilar from what Ash has. Yeah, Ash has 13 and is two levels lower, so that would make sense. When I do know a new spell yet? That's right, you learned in Venom. Forgot, in Venom's a terrible spell. All right, so unfortunately, we might need to let them come to us for the first round. And the reason why I'm thinking about letting them come to us is because, well, look at it. We've got three snipers with height that we're going to be dealing with. They're going to have an absurd range. If we let them come to us first, they're going to be much closer, and thus the pain won't be as bad. So I'm actually just end turning right now. I'm not even casting Mystic Shield. I want somebody to move, and I'm hoping they're not going to move. Uh, dang it. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention, there are two healing devices, one on each side, and yes, the boss will absolutely go toward them. All right. Let's move up slightly. The orchestral version of this is similar, but not the same. Okay, so we've basically moved up one and moved over to the right one. I'm hoping to either activate the ones in front of me or the ones off to the right. I did activate the ones off to the right. Good. Yeah, you can attack Sarah. That's fine. Sarah can take a hit. That's not that big of a deal. Looks like that's the only one I activated. Interesting. I've got to remember to turn my camera. I'm really... So, this is the center of the camera. This is the center of what I'm looking at. See the problem there? And I'm even over to the right on my desk. If I was to actually sit in the center of my desk, it's like this. I mean, that part's partially intentional because green screen doesn't really fit anywhere. If I was... Logical, I'd probably hang the green screen from the ceiling, but alas, I'm not very logical. Okay. So. That is close enough to hit me here. Which means I need to move up a little bit, but... I mean, I can... probably. Yeah, I can run up and slash the sniper. Problem then is that I'm getting all of these enemies to aggro on me. I don't want that. So, I'm actually going to be taking a couple of hits here.
Let's see if this works. And yes, I know I'm not saving right now. I've basically done nothing. Okay, that's a weird decision to make, but sure. I'm hoping to activate the Mad Soldiers, basically. And yes, I did succeed. That's what I wanted to have happen. Stabity, 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 stabity. We're being slow and steady in this case, because this is a dangerous situation to go running headfirst in right now. Magnus is not that weak of an enemy, especially given that I only have one sorcerer. So it's something I have to keep in mind. Oh yeah. What's my party composition level-wise right now? 13, 12, 13, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay. So anybody level 12, go right ahead and kill. Not that I need that balanced, honestly. Oh, that was a weird slowdown. Like before I do that. go level up another healer don't suppose you gained a new spell or anything i don't think they gain spells that fast now no actually like that that should wake up the other one for sure the one thing that I have advantage-wise is that there are no mages in this battle. No enemy mages, other than the boss, and I don't really count the boss. To be honest here. Okay. That was enough range to hit here, so I don't want to be any further ahead than I am right now. What is your movement, anyway? Yeah. This line is death right now, because I've got three archers that can be in range. That's going to be enough to kill a flyer. Excuse me. That's going to be enough to kill a flyer no matter what. This line is bad, so I don't want to be standing on this line either, because this spot can reach here. Here, actually. And, yeah. I'm pretty sure if I moved Eamon up at all, I'm going to get sniped. So I'm not going to. Now it's Mystic Shield time. Um, yeah, let's Mystic Shield Ash. That makes sense. So much slowdown. Do we have a bunch of things running in the background or something? Also, maybe I should drop the music a little bit. I'm noticing it's getting a little loud. So I'll drop it down to, I don't know, 25 decibels? Hopefully that's not too low, at least. Um, okay, before I do anything else, computer, are you running anything else in the background? Do, do, do. Not especially. RTX voice is eating up a decent chunk of GPU power. That might be why. Oh, derp, I know why. Because I have my video card underclocked. Yep, that's definitely doing it. How about you have full power? That should help a little. Probably not much, but a little. Okay, where was I? Oh, right. Two of you. Eamon, you're going to stand there for just a little bit longer. I need to be able to get those archers in range. That's what I wanted to have happen. That's actually why I moved up to where I did, 
It's because I wanted them to go after Ash. Ash can heal himself. Ash can take these hits. Also, you notice that that's who I Mystic Shielded. Now the others are coming into position. You're going to be attacking Dolan. Why the hell did you attack Dolan? AI scripting error. That they should have attacked Sarah. Sarah would have been a much better choice. And you're attacking Grog. Grog's facing behind. That makes sense. Okay. Now the party started. Grog levels up to 13. Basically, I'm just trying to pick off small amounts of the enemy at a time so I don't wake everyone up. Okay, this might hurt. Ow! Grog might actually be taken out. So I still have another archer that can go. Oh, dear. Damn it. All right, we're going to restart this. If you can't tell, I'm going for a run that doesn't have anybody to... Uh, retreating, excuse me. Okay, let's start the battle over. And yes, this was intentional that I knew I would be restarting. I I don't remember this battle all that well. I mean, obviously, I remember enough to know what I'm going to be fighting. But I mean in general of, like, what's a good idea, what's a bad idea. Okay, let's start positioning now. Let's give them some targets. And I'm shifting very far over to the right, in this case. And I've got a good reason why. See, I was assuming that they would have all gone after Ash, and Ash would have been fine with that attack. Grog, on the other hand, not so much. Lux goes up to 13. You get anything new at 13? Bless weapon! Nice. We'll be taking advantage of that as well for reference. Please stand in front of the archer. Thank you. Uh, Eamon's the only one left. Eamon, you're going to sneak behind you and I. I am being significantly more cautious than I would normally be on these battles, to be honest. I was hoping I would have woken up more. Okay, I did actually wake up another. Well, that's foolish. Oh, 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 bonk. Bonk. Okay, I've got two people to heal, one of which can heal themselves, so that's fine. You're gonna move here. And regular heal Dolan. Insert Dolan Duck meme here. He goes already 13. I don't really want him to attack. What range do you need in order to hit the ghost? Ah, uh, you can't. Because this isn't going to let you hit anything up there, yeah. Okay. Heal thyself. I don't like the fact that she's facing the dang wall, but I don't really have a choice there. So the reason why I'm going up against the wall is then the archer's not going to be able to hit. So basically, I'm going to be moving my party over to this area. Let's go ahead and make an in-battle save. I don't know if this is a great strategy yet or not, but... I think it's not terrible. Wait, 
Oh, that's the danger zone, isn't it? This line is the danger zone. Yep, that's the danger zone. I'm gonna attack from the side. You're dead. On levels, good. 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 Unfortunately, Grog can get hit. I can't do anything about that. All right, where can you two hit? I'm in range now. Okay. All right. So, Clint's the one that's in trouble. Can I shore anything up with that? Not especially. Uh, I can't even reach there. Rat. bad idea because of the positioning of Clint. Hey, you're hitting Grog. Like I said, I couldn't do anything about that one. Ghost moving. Other ghost is attacking Clint. This is the my concern. Yep, you're attacking. If you block, you're fine. Good. Okay. I should be fine. Clint has a pretty good block chance from the front, so. Nobody, I mean, only one other archer can hit. And that archer already moved, so we're fine. Okay, party has started. Let's go ahead and make an in-battle save here. By the way, this game is not geared toward you being perfect everywhere. I just happen to prefer being perfect. Perfection is fun. That archer... The archers are going to piss me off really fast. I've got three flyers and two archer units. Cool, okay. If I hit, you're probably dead. Okay, one out. Kira, uh, I think your best bet is to actually get back here. Not great, but it's your best bet. You're probably not going to kill the ghost. Yeah. You deal a lot of damage. You're dead. And in a relatively safe spot from archers. Not great, but it's relatively safe. Out of curiosity, where can you move next turn? Okay, yeah, you can go out up upstairs, so to speak. You're at 35 hit points. I'm far more concerned about that ghost. There we go. Yay, area of fact healing. Not that. Yeah, one of them didn't need healing, but that's fine. Okay. Dolan, you can't reach crap. Uh, if I would have noticed, I would have done this differently. Crappy. So 
So Ash and Clint are the two that can reach. And your mat your attack magic is only next door, so to speak. Alright, Eel and I. I'm gonna need you to use some magic. Is it worth trying to spellbind? Let's go ahead and make another in battle save. Because if I can spellbind, that's gonna make things a little easier for me. No counter attacks. Damn. Okay, let's not spellbind then. Spellbinding is not going to work for us. I don't know who that is. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to range bonk. Bonk. Dark Star. My frame rate starts dropping. There we go. Eel and I levels. Do I get a new spell? I did just get in Venom. But probably not. Yeah. You are going to protect Eel and I. Flint is going to sob repeatedly. I actually want Ash to take the hit instead of Clint. Ash takes less damage. I think. Actually, no, wait, I think Clint does now that I think about it. Oh well. Too late now. You're dead. Okay. Clint levels. We no longer have any flyers, so that helps immensely. Uh, in fact, we only have the archers that can reach, which is the reason why I'm going to do something dumb. Actually, let me confirm the dumb really fast. I'm pretty sure, yeah. This is going to be really dumb. So, the reason why I'm putting her there is so the archer doesn't have as great of a shot. Because I'm a little concerned about all three archers going after Ash. Okay, I'll be fine. The archers aren't going to do 33 damage each. Yeah, so that range is still possible. But it also means that she's going to take an attack from the front instead of from the side. So that should be fine. Hi! I are Monk. Slice and dice. And Sarah levels up. Cool. Okay, we're in good position at this point. Because Ash can't be killed. He's hurting, don't get me wrong, he's down 77 hit points, but... And we have activated the golems, have we activated Magnus? No, good. That is what I wanted to see. Before I do anything, because I can already hear Candace screaming at me... Maybe that's Sash. Don't know. Either way. You're dead now. I'm assuming you can't hit from there, right? I might need to pull back, so you're going to be able to reach there. Yeah, I think it's a good idea to pull back and heal. Very light yourself. 
sip more to drink because I'm talking a bunch. I'm actually not sure where Sin's napping at right now. Otherwise, I'd let him say hi. But you got Kitty on the chart. That, that helps, right? All right. Eel and I. Can you hit anybody from here? Uh, if I did a piercing ray, I could. Worth doing that? I don't know. Let's find out. Yeah, probably is. Though I'm doing great on the blocks. Good job, Sarah. Well, actually. Nah, don't need to. Okay. Just got this goober to deal with. Oh, of course, this one, too, but I'm taking a bit of a retreat at this point. Let's go ahead and have Eel and I hide here. Frog, you're going to move down to here. So you only need to move to here. And defend that way. Flint, you're injured. No, you're not. Who is injured? Ash is still injured. Seriously, is it just Ash? Well, I guess that changes a few things. Okay. Not gonna bother healing Ash yet. the range in the Mad Soldier. You can reach here, so the other side of that bird is fine. And Hux, honestly. Like, that's fine. So the Golem's gonna attack Dolan. And the Sniper's going to attack Ash, that's fine. Because again, Ash has enough hit points to take two hits without any problems. And no one else can reach Ash but the other sniper. Just hoping that would be blocked, but alas, it was not. B. All hoping that they'd be in range of each other. Punch! I do the same amount of damage back, but they have a height difference. And they were attacking me from the side, so I'm significantly more powerful. So, my objective seems to have worked. I am just going to be fighting the enemies, heal up, and then I can fight the boss. That's what I wanted to have happen. This goober is going to be annoying. I may end up just sending Kira after them. But this is why I have healing plus, right? All right. Neil and I, you're going to be doing a lot of grunt work. Wait, wait, what is your range for? You need to get too closer. Okay. One, two, three, four, yeah. You need to get too closer to bonk that golem in the face. Actually, you're getting up here. And bonking that golem in the face. And by bonking, I really mean summoning an extra-dimensional star and collapsing it on yourself. Grog. This might actually wake up the boss. I'm still going to do it. I can't take the sniper hits constantly. Oh, almost enough to kill. 
So that was a lot of XP. What is your range on movement? Okay, you you probably can't reach this turn anyway. That's fine. You're dead. No more snipers. I know there's still one. Um. Okay. Who's my priority out of the two of you? I think this answers the question. Actually, which one is stronger anyway? Your attack strength is 53, your attack strength is 60, okay. Technically, the other one is stronger, but I am not in a good position. Uh, I'm not in the worst position, but I'm in a better position to go after this mad soldier with Kira. Kira's at 13. All right. Can you kill? Not quite. Figures. Nice storm. Because Ash does have offensive magic. Might as well use it. This is the situation that Ice Storm is useful. Because 71 damage is way better. Okay, so the golem's gonna live, the mad soldier is gonna die, and that's fine. The mad soldier could have reached Huxley, the golem can't, especially not now. Yeah, golem can't reach anyone other than, uh, they're probably gonna go after Kira, that's gonna suck. Not much I can do about that one. Okay, two of you need to start coming back down. Actually, I would have realized I would have done that instead and gone after the golem. Yeah, I can't reach anybody from there. I can reach Ash, who is not injured. I need to reach Clint, who is not going to be able to reach. One, two, three, four. Nope. Oh, you're going over here then. Diego, can you hit... Can you actually hit the golem? I bet you could. Well, that might work. Uh, probably not enough damage. It is enough damage. Sweet. Well, that just helped things. All right. We only have two enemies left. One of them's the boss. The other one's the stupid sniper. The sniper is going to die the next turn. I mean, there's no two ways around it. Have I woken up the boss? Yes, I have. Oh, crap. This is Rainbow Storm. Oh, I didn't realize Grog was injured. Oh, I guess I know who I'm healing. So, yep, we've got a class one problem over here. When part of our team is still down here. Cool. Yeah, snipe it out. Ux, I actually need you up here to heal. Okay. Hux levels up again. I think he's 14 now? 
we're going to be unbalanced on levels for a bit, most likely. That's fine. Uh, honestly. That's spellbound. Or spellbind. Just herb yourself, you'll be fine. Flint will deal with things down there. Dolan, we're gonna need your help pretty fast. Oh yeah, how much MP did you actually spend anyway? You spent seven, okay. So you can do it again. Time to go after the boss. Ow! Okay, gonna have to heal Grog. Grog can't take two hits like that. This is why I did what I did. Yeah, I still only have normal healing. I'm gonna go here to do it, I think. Yeah. Why did you turn? Oh. <sighs> Ash, I'm going to move you over to here. You're probably going to get attacked. Diego, you're going to continue moving up because my plan is to start sniping. Okay, you can't reach the healing circle. That's good. Uh, where can you reach? I want to make sure you're not going to bonk Elanai in the head. Okay, good to know. I can't reach with the attack spell. Well, Elanai is going to stay there then. <coughs> All right. That sniper's just going to be annoying, but that's fine. I'm only going to be dealing with it there. And oh, wow, you're actually using self healing. Good job, Magnus. That was the correct option for you, even though it's really obnoxious. Because now he's getting closer to the circle. And he can reach it. No, he can't reach it this turn. Sweet. That makes things easier. But I bet you and I can't reach either. Nope. Of course not. Okay. Well, first off, let's deal with the stupid sniper. Yes, I'm aware that's not going to... Oh, it did actually kill it. Never mind. Well, that was easy. Is everybody 13 or higher at this point? 13, 13, 13, 13, 14, 13, 13, 13, 13, 13. Okay. Probably should have saved the start of the turn, but that's fine. Okay. Okay, Ash is going to be the one that gets healing this time. Oh, crap. I can't afford to have everybody go after him this time. Oh. Uh, Huxley, how are you doing on MP? You have six. You have enough for one more healing plus. And you can't reach with a healing plus. That's the problem. Yeah. I can hit those three, which doesn't help me at all. Well, you're still going to move up. It's advanced just a wee bit faster than I was expecting. But before I move there, where can you actually reach? You actually can reach there. Okay, yeah, no, you're going to hide behind them.
If I moved her there, I would actually be able to do this. So I'm going to. You're going to stand in front and heal Ash. This time you didn't turn in the wrong direction. Good. Eamon, you're going to stand there. I know you're not doing anything. That's fine. Because you'll survive a bonk to the face. Nope. Well, I saved. Grog, you're going to stand there. Good job on trapping the boss. Heal and I. Kill your father. Center it on your leader. 29? That's an armor boss. I should have done way more than that. What the heck? Yeah, you're on the wrong line to be able to attack. Out of curiosity. Can you reach? Yeah, you'll be able to reach. Alright, that is everybody. Who are you gonna bonk? I'm predicting it's Ash. Oh, it's everyone. Cool. Ow! How is he taking so much damage? Okay, well, guess what? I can handle that. I'll heal them all. That worked fairly well. Piercing Ray. Yeah, you're dead this turn. I wonder if this boss has like 50% damage or magic or something. Hey, Magnus. Bah. Bah. And I leveled up at the end. Nice. I could have healed a little more and gotten eked out a little more XP, but it's fine. I killed everyone, at least. That's the important part. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right, we have finished the boss. I think that's Dolan. Pretty sure that's Dolan. Looks like his ugly mug. Sorry about the mouse being on the screen, I just noticed. Uh, Daddy, don't die! He's back to normal. Magic stones. Gurst. Finally. Broken? Magic stone? Think of it, you mentioned it before our battle, before we all smote you. I was sent to retrieve the stone. He's just going ah, 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 from the floor. He never told me what could happen. Who is he? He used me. It was all his doing. Daddy, no! General! It's you. That's right! Hey, don't be so mad, I came to help you. Hang in there, Daddy. Don't worry, I don't think it hit any vitals. Darn, we missed. You bastard! Well done, Ash, my boy. Should have known you were behind this. You're actually on screen and everyone can see anyway. And picks up the magic stone. <laughs> Great job, Ash. You and your men can be proud. Thanks to you, Magnus's coup d'etat plans have been stopped. 
Right? <laughs> you truly deserve the title of hero. I mean, it's your class and everything. Or was, before you promoted. And now, Elenai Dunbar and Huxley Hobbs, you are under arrest as followers of the traitor Magnus. Come with us. But, but you can't just... Of course I can. He was alone. Can you see he's hurt? Back off. Ash, my naive friend. As you know, interfering with us is tantamount to treason. Think well on whether you want to be known as a hero, or whether you want to be known as the traitor like your father. Don't worry about us, Ash. It's obvious these guys are behind it. Yeah. The timing is just too perfect. Glory or shame? Which will it be? Okay. You win. Do as you will. Ash! Ash, you can't! Decide your weapons. We're officers who have sworn loyalty to the state. Oh, a very wise decision, Ash, my boy. We're gonna tour the ruins a few more days. In the meantime... Put the prisoners in the dungeon downstairs. Ash, what's wrong with you? Say something! Dots. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna pause it here. Or stop it here and start recording immediately after, I think? Okay, bye.